Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Spider-Man. So, okay, we didn't do it the next part afterwards, so now we get to do a stupid Mary Jane section. Oh, right. 15 minutes earlier. I love how all of these stupid sections are told in flashback format. Yeah, so you... Yeah, because it kind of spoils, it kinda, it spoils the ending. Yeah, you know that she's going to be fine, so, like, what's the point, right? Well, I mean, in this case, they kind of opened on a cliffhanger, didn't they? But... They all open in a cliffhanger. In a sense. Oh boy, look, Wait, at, you, look at you, Mary Jane, <laughs> trying to be useful, sneaking no, into I mean, an, like, a, an encampment of armed security people who will basically shoot on sight. I mean, instead of her being in a in in her apartment telling Peter what happened after the fact, this one opened with her at gunpoint and then flashed back to tell you how she got in that situation. Which is It's the fucking spider car alarm. He's here somewhere. What the What the hell? We we magically have a lure, so Oh no. Uh oh, I'm just in a, I'm surprised it didn't just <laughs> whack the guy in the shoulder. Yeah. It's like what the fuck was that? Now the pigeon turrets are awfully large this time of the year. They must be the goggles. Oh, they have the peripheral vision of the uh, old school Metal Gear guards. They look like old school like, Metal Gear they, guards. Yeah, I was going to say, they can only see in a straight line in front of them. They look like they could be guards from Shadow Moses. Oh, I was talking OG Metal Gear, not Metal Gear Solid. Oh, oh wow, really? Yeah. Well, they still look like they, they could be see. Shadow Moses guards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, see, I, I would give the Genome Soldiers a little more credit because they can hear things. Uh, the, the guards in Metal Gear could not hear or see shit unless it was in front of them. You could literally dance around them in circles right next to them and they would not bat an eye. Yeah, Metal Gear 1 was not great. Old? <laughs> I mean, points for ambition, but it really didn't. I, I think the thing that fucks me up about, like, I know it's like the non-canon Snake's Revenge that a boss in that in that game is literally just a football team. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's like they're robots, but they they come at you in a formation like a football team. <laughs> okay. Um. Cool. I like how I like how a single tap from Mary Jane just sends toolboxes flying. Yeah. Like they're like they're like weightless, like they're made of styrofoam or something. That's the magic of havoc physics. <laughs> No, well, well uh, her, her and uh, Peter fucked, so she's got the spider gene in them. And didn't that, like, give her cancer in, like, one continuity? Oh, it God. Yeah. It sounds like it, something stupid no, that would be in the Ultimate Universe. Uh, because, rem remember, it's radioactive spider blood. Yeah. Oh, God. Like, I remember that being yeah, a I remember thing that, that being happened in thing. one comic book yeah. story where... The, the radioactive spider come and gives MJ cancer. Yeah, it's, that's, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not how that works. Um, no, but how does anything work yeah, in, <laughs> in the Marvel world? Whoops. Why did you I do did not, that? I did not immediately see him. <laughs> I, I, was, I was focused on the other guy, so I was paying attention to the left side of my screen. <laughs> okay. To be fair, Mary Jane would probably get like five feet before getting kidnapped in the first place. You see, actually, I'm trying to think to the comics. I feel like when Mary Jane and Peter were married, they she didn't really do much. She was just kind of emotional support for Peter. She did do, ironically enough, if I remember correctly, she did end up doing more stuff after One More Day shenanigans. Like, if I remember correctly, when they did the Spider-Verse comic series, she, like, got spider powers or something. I could be wrong there. I mean, I probably am, but... So, I feel like making her playable is just kind of a weird choice altogether. I know they want her in the game. But I think it's just the way of giving her agency in the game as much as the story. But I, I it, it kind of just goes against everything else that you've been doing to this point. It just kind of clashes more than anything else. It, it's like a, MJ it's, it's, just it's, can't be an important character in the story. She also has to matter in gameplay. It's like you can do one without having to do the other. Also, no one, no one wants to play a Spider Man game to do really slow, boring. Look at me, I'm pretty much helpless stealth sections. 
It's like, if anything, you're just making people dislike Mary Jane more. Yeah. Like, it's fine. Like, MJ matters in the story. That's that. That's fine. Like, you don't have to shoehorn her into the gameplay in a section that nobody really cares about. Yeah. Wait. Someone from way off screen spotted me. Let's be fair. Like, we were talking about the goggles earlier. I'm pretty sure they got, like, they can zoom and enhance everything. Enhance. Enhance. Is that MJ? Enhance, John. Enhance. Why isn't it getting yeah. any clear, sir? Just because you zoom in does not make it any more clear. One of the best Futurama jokes. Move it. She talking to you? Uh, close. Was it? It's like hold the sprint button. <laughs> come on, come on. Okay. I, I I blur my eyes and they're like the fucking space ball troopers. I mean, Mary Jane does have a superpower. She can see over boxes without looking over them. It's it's a lame superpower, but it's, true. it's a superpower. Well, you know, it's like kneeling down in uh, The Last of Us. You suddenly have like an idea of where everything around you is in the immediate vicinity. <laughs> Charles Standish? Holy crap! <laughs> where is Dr. Morgan Michael? Okay, that was pretty good. Didn't he? I mean, to be fair, would you trust some random person who walks in on your super secure facility? Absolutely not. I just think that that was like a perfect, like reaction to the situation. Um, yeah, like what? Like what was Mary Jane's plan here? Do you? Because having a fake press pass is really easy to get. Yeah, all you have to do is get a piece of paper that says I, I, Google I, on it, and then also like, also good. That, good also, yeah, good to know this guy randomly just decides to read random Bugle articles that happen to have Mary Jane's name on them. But she's totally ignoring Grand Central. Grand Central. The demons were talking about it when they held me. So, uh... Oh, boy. You get what, Charles? What do the demons need to get at Grand Central? <laughs> what the... <laughs> Charles! Oh! What that the was hell? not a sable guy. Definitely not a sable guy. Sorry, Charlie. Okay, time Wait, to go. no, he knows something! <laughs> Yeah, and you're kind of still hanging around an arms facility where, like, people would totally shoot you. Get your head out of your ass about it, Mary. Yeah. Well, that was maybe the most awkward swing of my life. The ho. I'm not happy. It's one of those Pete did not do anything wrong there. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, yeah, but uh, I, she, I still understand her her being upset about it, but yeah. She was like, actually pretty close to at least getting the information. Now, whether she could have escaped with it is another question. Yeah, that's another yeah. thing. No, I screwed up. It was a tension breaker. Tension breaker, right. You know, this is exactly why we broke up. I thought we broke up so you could focus on your career. Yeah. We broke up because you wouldn't stop treating well, you keep getting into trouble, so... Did, did she say... Oh, that's too dangerous, I, I, I didn't have a chance to read that subtitle. Okay, never mind. You snuck into the middle of an armed military... You know what? Can we not do this right now? Please? Yeah, I think at that point, you can be worried if you get... If you sneak into an armed military facility. Yeah, it, yeah I was going to say, it's one of those, she was in an incredibly dangerous situation. Like, I'm with Peter on this one. It's like, like, it's like, it, it's, not like it's not like he's saying, oh, don't go to the grocery store, you could get mugged. It's like, stop breaking into armed guard facilities, you fucking dumbass. <laughs> like, I'd say, like, even if it was something to the effect of Peter talking about the, um... Like, if Peter was freak freaking out about her breaking into, like, that one dude's uh, art gallery... Or whatever, where like she wasn't ever in any real danger, you know. Like that would be something where I would definitely agree with MJ. But when you're breaking into a military base, and you could get shot and slash or die, then you know. Well, like it, it's like it's like Mary's point is very much diminished when it's like she keeps willingly throwing herself into really dumb situations, in order to appear strong and independent. And I don't need no Spider-Man able to you know. Save me and stuff. It's like, yeah, you kind of do, and you keep saving you because you throw yourself into these situations. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, uh, you're kind of like really stepping outside the scope of a journalist's job, 
with these kinds of stunts. Are you telling me that real life journalists yeah, don't actually walk into danger at every possible uh, chance they get? No, their job is generally dicey enough without. Unless it's like covering like, like a war zone for like a documentary. Well, I mean, even even in that situation, I'd say like they're... even like even a lot of war reporters are safely behind lines. A like, lot of the time, you know, they're uh, the, yeah, they're they're in a generally dangerous location, but the situations that they that they that they that they stay in are generally at least partially controlled. They're not like doing solid snake bullshit into the middle of a base to get an interview with someone that we know. Um, that, that, no, not just that we know. <laughs> They're not doing that. They're not trained for it. Uh, I'm just saying, if they were doing it and they did their job correctly, we'd never know. And journalists who try to cover, like, criminal stuff... They're not infiltrating the mob. They're generally, you know, doing a heck lot of research. Yeah, a lot of journalist work is really boring. Um, You're at a computer looking up old files. It's a thankless job. Yeah. yeah. Like, also, a lot of detective work is also boring. Like, if you're doing, like... Um, you, mean you, don't, you mean you don't sit, you don't sit in, in a... You sit in a small little office with a, you know, half-screen door, you know... Playing old timey music in your trench coat, expecting some you know beautiful dame with a history want to walk in one day. No. Target safe. Okay. So. What are we trying to save right now? Uh, it's side quest, so we're just taking out snipers. Oh. It's a good thing none of them got a shot off before you got to Sniper's them. Gotta be around here somewhere. Even though you can only deal with one at a time. Literally didn't see that coming. But these guys did. Oh! <laughs> uh, hi, guys. They, uh, were they there before? <laughs> here comes the spider man. <laughs> man, 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 man. Friendly neighborhood, man. Just in time. <laughs> Love that video. Officer, all three snipers are down. Are we in the clear? Okay. Not quite. Our perp says his boys are holding a bunch of tourists. I like how this guy's unimportant Careful to the point the where we don't know him beyond go. police officer. I mean, look at <laughs> I mean, this guy doesn't even get a name tag. He is a name tag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his first name police, that last name officer. <laughs> From the officer family. <laughs> we were really lucky that that was the job the I actually... Hostages. Wanted to take. <laughs> <laughs> officer, officer. <laughs> Tell me the news. <laughs> I mean, you know, when I was a kid, I thought I'd be like an archaeologist. God, nobody is ever where they want to be when they grow up. <laughs> it's one of those. It's one of those things where if you have like a really like mean sounding name or like. Super technological signing name. You have to do like you have to be like a doctor or something. It's like Doctor Amazing or something like that. If you somehow have a name. Do we want to get depressing and like talk about like what we wanted to be when we grew up? Uh, I wanted to be. Uh, I wanted to be a brain scratch. Uh, I wanted. To Aww, <laughs> I wanted to be a brain scratch too. <laughs> I wanted to look to like be. Um, uh, oh, damn, I'm sleepy. The word's not coming to me, but. Uh, I wanted to dig up dinosaur bones. An archaeologist. An archaeologist. No, that's not an archaeologist. You literally just said the word. Couple, uh, no, 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 no. It's, uh, archaeology is like, has to do with civilization and stuff. Paleontology. Um, paleontology. paleontology that's the one, yes. Uh, oh, the, the paleontology is the study of pay. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I never thought that far ahead. I didn't really have a job I wanted to be when I grew up. You know, like it just was kind of um, never something I thought about. It wasn't really like that I lost interest even. It's just that like um I didn't have parental support for anything beyond the obvious academic pursuits. Yeah. So it was that situation where oh, it's not one of the obvious in demand degrees, so they have no idea like 
how to support me, whether or not they should, or like whether or not. Um, Sweet what that? Did you just fly <laughs> kick the wall? Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, so what happened there was I uh, impact webbed him, so he was stumbling around and falling over. But I did the whole zip and take out maneuver at the same time, so he fell over before the kick landed. <laughs> I want to see that happen in an actual comic book. Oh, sorry, my bus broke down and there were no cabs. But I'll be there as soon as I can. But yeah, paleontology was my thing. Does the game fast travel you there, or did you cut? No, I, I cut. Okay. I don't know. The whole Peter in a lab coat thing just reminds me of, like, hey, that time in Metal Gear Solid 3 where Snake was pretending to be a doctor, and it was just so very obviously not. Like, seeing Snake in a lab coat is kind of like seeing He-Man in a lab coat. It's like, you're nobody's buying this. Nobody believes that this is what's going on, but sure. You know, why not? It's like he keeps the bandana on. So how did Peter <laughs> convince Octavius to, like, keep him around? Uh, One, Pete's actually really smart. Two, the other is he's volunteering functionally. Yeah. He, at this point, he's not volunteering. He doesn't care about the pay. He just wants to help Octavius complete his research. Well, yeah, I get that. But, like, how did Peter convince Octavius to go along with that when he clearly wasn't, didn't want to? Because uh, Octav Octavius, they're 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 on the verge of a breakthrough. Also, Octavius is not in the right state of mind, as we're going to find out here. I think uh, soon, yeah. Uh, actually, because what we're doing here is solving the, the latency of the neural interface. Yeah, but I think this leads to the revelation that it's doing something to Otto's brain. Yeah, which is bad. <laughs> oh boy, gears turning. <laughs> A panel turn. Yeah. It's like making him Top unstable one, bad, device. you mean? He, well, he has a neurogen... Uh, he's basically having a... He, he's diagnosed with a disorder that's going to make like his muscles dystrophy and stuff like that. And that's why he's so interested in the in that kind the of research. Stuff, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Looks like some impedance in this neurosensor uh. circuit. Yeah, it's here where we find out that things are getting a little bad for Otto. Again, I do like the story between like Peter and Octavius in this game specifically. I just wish it was that and the Doctor Doctor Negative, <laughs> Mister Negative stuff. He's a Doctor now. And you just wish that they saved the Sinister Six and Goblin stuff. Yeah, save that for a later game. Like that. That's a third game, I think. Yeah. No, I think no, I think Og and the Sinister Six are two to really drive down the the point of just how bad the Osborns are, and then the third game, the big finale is the Osborns. Signal to noise is out of whack. A new signal processor should reduce lag. More puzzle solving. Yay. Maybe if I this is how you do lamp. science. Yes. Pipe dream. Looks like I need to install a vast. Ugh. Maybe where does, download more RAM. Where does that phrase come from? Download more RAM. I. I it's just something it, that it, it's a, a joke lot to of folks. It's a joke to point out people are really fucking dumb about computer shit. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of and, like uh, the I'm your only, CD I'm only tray is not a, judging because I was very much guilty there. of getting one of those download accelerators in my youth yeah. back when I was like download oh, viruses. Wow, awesome! Yeah, what? What? Yeah, I love Doctor Mario. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it's just a highlight that some people don't know what they're doing, but mainly the elder crowd, because I feel that doesn't really apply to yeah. Today's generation. Yeah. To the hip and cool youth that we know watch Brain Scratch commentaries. What would, like, I, I, this is a question more for the comment section, but, like, we re-referenced, like, the download more RAM, but, like, what is, like, the equivalent to that of today's generation? I mean, not even that, John. We were back when um, Don't Copy That Flappy was making the rounds. Good work, Peter. It's true. But now we're at an age where folks will just refer to it as a save icon and not an actual floppy disk. Yes. <laughs> it's kind of... Vaguely surprising that even today, the, the 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 floppy disk is still the save icon in OSs. Yeah, like well, at this point, it's just been that way for so long. Changing it would probably just confuse people even if they don't. Know yeah, it, I so. think at the yeah, it, the the meaning behind the floppy has transformed. Hmm. It's kind of weird when you uh, get into that sort of thing.
Wow. Oh, I see what they're doing. Yep. Yes. Oh. Uh, although that is a really cool framing, I will say. Now you're showing all about it. <laughs> you can't even juggle in real life, dude. Who do you think you're who do you think you're? Oh, that's why he's making the arms. <laughs> As if it his lifelong dream of being a juggler. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like not only can he control it with his brain, but the arms are capable of thing of feats that he physically wouldn't be able to do. Yeah, because he just there's no muscles to train. He can just think it. I call that a mouth success. I call that unbelievable. Man, this thing's so itchy. You need some help. More like he can't reach the back of his head. Because, again, muscular disorder. Doctor, what's going on? Tell me the news. <laughs> <Don't that> <laughs> My doctors call it a degenerative neurological. I'm oh, sorry, not muscular, disorder. neurological. Probably caused by overexposure to toxic chemicals in my reckless youth. Sorry, what? is there anything I can do? You already are. The worst part is it only affects just nerves muscles. that affect the muscles, but the mind continues to work, but it can no longer do. Oh, okay. You're the only one who knows, Peter. I'd like to keep it that way. Of course. I mean, who am I going to tell? <laughs> uh, Mary Jane or Aunt May, a.k.a. the only people he talks to Future. ever. I, I came here to work for you because of what you've got up here. And that's not going anywhere. <laughs> Aw. It's so heartbreaking. <laughs> it kind of is, yeah. <laughs> it really gets tragic at the end of this game. Like a, it's, it's, the, it's the more gut-wrenching moment of this game story. They needed to hug for longer, though. That was the most awkward. We uh, we yeah, feel that was, that obliged was, was very, to hug, that, that was, but we we don't want to because yeah, we're that, that was the introvert hug. Yeah, that was definitely an introvert hug. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's get this over with. Hug. Well, two introverts, so 